This is Hydrogen Tap 1, Series 3. What we're doing here is rerunning the last test over. Since there was no discoloration in the water, the best thing to do is to reload the test unit. Again, this is the same tap water. And try the test again. In the last test, there was nothing left in the water, no discoloration that usually is left. If this proves to be the same, then there could be a conclusion that the tube is contributing to this in some fashion. What we're going to do is first run the test around 10 volts, as you'll see to try a low, lower voltage to see if that doesn't produce something. We're running at around 5 amps here and just a moment you'll see the voltage on the left side. There we go, it's up to 10. The unit is running and we'll connect the voltmeter up. There we go. We're at 1085, 10 volts, 0.80 around that. As you can see, the water is still clear. The white foam on top is the hydrogen. And what we're going to do in just a moment is connect it to another battery, which will bring it over 12 volts, and connect a charger unit on it. There's still no scum, as we'll call it, on the water. The water's still not changing. See, we're around 58 degrees. still producing hydrogen. Note the tube is open at the bottom and the top. We're running with five and a half inch plates by three. And the tube is three and a half inches across. We're still running at 10 volts, not quite 10 amps. Okay, what we've just done is switch batteries. Now we're up at 12 volts with a charging circuit on it. Actually, it's come back down to 11.76 with a charger on it. Same amperage. And we'll see if that makes a difference. We're at 3 minutes 44 seconds into the test. There's still no sign of any pollutants in the water. So this is the second test we've run with still no water discoloration using this tube. This will be the last test for this. Time-wise, I don't have enough time to complete this type of test but I felt we had to go back and recheck to see if there was a water difference. I'm using the same spigot, same pipes. The only difference we have right now is we were running at 15 amps before because the water was warmer than it is now. It's around 60 degrees now and it was around 68 degrees before. 
we're using the same plates. I try to compensate for the difference in temperature by changing the voltage in the beginning of this test to see if that made any difference. And it obviously doesn't. This is the Series 3 that we're working on, trying to find the best configuration. It will be separating hydrogen and oxygen. Each test I have designed to test each unit out before I put them together. What I'm trying to find out is whether or not this plastic will hold up. Tube is perfect for what we're using now. If it does hold up, it would be easy to work with. The next test after this I will seal the tube and we'll check to see how much gas it's producing. I believe I can produce as much gas at 10 amps as we were producing with 30 or a lot of it anyway. I could be wrong. The only way we're going to find out is to try it. There's a close-up of the hydrogen bubbles coming up. As you can see, there's still no discoloration. We're seven minutes and four seconds into the test. We're still running at 10 amps. The voltage is 12.9. On all the other tests, when we ran the current through the water, we were getting this discoloration. So I do not believe that the water temperature or the amperage has anything to do with it. We're seven minutes and 40 seconds into the test and still no problems with the water. This is the second filling of this unit. The first filling was the last test in which we again showed that the current going through the water did not produce anything in the water. This test is to confirm the last test. The last two videos before this are the videos that were produced that go with this video. I'm running eight minutes and 29 seconds into the test. The reason these tests are so long is to see if there's any change whatsoever. And since it is a video, you can always run to the end or back. This video is or has not been spliced. What we're doing here is Looking at the top, as you can see,